Good morning guys and welcome back. It's been about two months since I did any work on the sim and today we're going to push hard. First of all I've, I've taken down the overhead frame you can see in front of me. I need to make this really quite square so that the overhead panels fit on correctly. So straight outside, add some supports, get it refitted and once the the top is redone. I want to take the bases off, raise it up by six inches and fit all the bases so the controls can go in. Let's see how we get on. So my plan is to add another piece in here that will keep the 90 degrees and keep it square. Also allow enough room for all the electronics to fit underneath. Let's see how we get on. Now I don't know if you can see that, but that is not square. Here I'm adding extra braces to the overhead. This ensures everything remains square when the overhead and the side panels are put together. So we'll just mount this flush, make it nice and level, like so. Screw it in tight. So here we have the aft overhead panel. It's just got one Arduino board in. It was homemade. And I think it's time to take it all apart. Now even though this is the IRS display panel, it still perfectly works. So either I'll give it away or strip it down and reuse the parts. Here I'm removing all the braces from the aft panel. I will now make it the correct size to accept the panels from cockpit sim parts. This part is an extra brace that also allows the hinge of the rear aft overhead panel to mount to, which allows it to swing down for easy maintenance. Going to mount this piece of wood inside and that will give secure mount for the panels to attach to in their stowed position. So we'll just mount this flush, make it nice and level like so, screw it in tight and repeat for the other side. This angle bracket that I'm fitting here is exactly how I will secure the panel. With the other panel pretty much completed, I'm just going to populate the upper aft overhead which we'll do in situ. Now it's time to move back inside, raise the whole sim by 6 inches, put some wheels on and that allow us to put all the controls and all the cabling underneath the sim. That's the next point. Let's head on inside. So the plan now is to take the MIP section, the sidewall sections off their bases, cut new lines and raise them up by about six inches on a good framework, good solid framework that we can mount things to and then they won't bend. Because even though they're running 18 mil MDF, they are prone to bending slightly. So all the screws out, MIP off and put some framework in. Ideally this should have been done at the start, but hey. So 
So I've cut the wood to make the boxes. This should raise the deck up by about six inches with the wheels. And that means we can put all the electrics and all the controls, all the wiring underneath the floor. And this floor is burning my knees. It's that hot. Can you guess what's coming next? Out comes the router and just trim around the edge. Saves measuring, saves getting all the angles perfect. In fact, the router does it all for you. Time to get lazy. Now I know these are roofing screws, but they absolutely work on holding the wheels due to their large size. This is what I've been building for the last two hours. Out in the heat, I am exhausted. It is just so hot out there. Now what this allows me to do, is not only allows me to move the units around properly, but it gives me the depth now to fit the yoke control system inside the box panels. So this will now fold down flat, hopefully, like so. The MIP will now slide on here and fasten to here. These wings left and right, these bits of wood that stick out, there to allow the wheeled sections of the side wall assemblies to attach properly to there. There'll be another wheeled section in the middle and that'll go for the pedestal assembly, the chairs and the yokes. Of course the whole reason why it's coming apart in sections like this is so that it can be moved around for a UK standard house door. It's a lot of work, but I think we're getting there. Let me go and get the other parts, let me put this on top and let's see how this thing looks. And then hopefully screw it in. One. Hopefully, going to fasten to there. Hi guys, as you can see we've come to the end of the video and the cockpit has been rebuilt. Unfortunately I lost a bit of footage of the rebuild section, mainly the roof and the right hand side as you're looking at it. However, as you can see from the overall picture now, it's done and we're ready to move on. What's been happening is I've now made the centre section box section floor and that means that the yoke here or the control column can be lowered into the floor, a second one placed here and we can connect them together and hopefully have dual controls. In the next video I really am hoping to get the glass fitted into the cockpit structure just to give it that final finished look and then definitely it's time to start getting some electrics on and start making things flash and making it look like a cockpit. In the meantime, I need to design the rear bulkhead, the cockpit door 
and the accessories that go here. And of course, they'll be on a module. They're going to be on a modular wheel system as well, where they will just slide in and clip on. So if I want to do filming or if I want easy access to the back, the whole back end just simply slides away, including the cockpit door. Of course, it still has to fit through the UK standard house door. So until next time guys, I'll catch you later. Take care and all the best. Sim out.